It must be Tuesday. No, it's not. Huh. All of the links you need are provided. Choose the bash link for your game of choice. Let's do this. Now that you are on the Rye Bash download page, select the installer archive. If a requirements list is presented, ignore it. After the archive is downloaded, extract its contents, then double click the installer. Agree to the pop-ups. Select next. Keep the boxes check marked for the games that you are installing Bash for, as well as the standalone version box next to each game. If games aren't installed correctly, they won't show up. I'm only installing Bash for Oblivion, so everything else gets deactivated. This page is for Elder Scrolls games, and the next for Fallout. Finished? Select Next. We don't need extra locations. Activate all component checkboxes. Select Install. When installed, Next, then Close. Open the game folder of the game that you installed Rye Bash for. This folder, Mopi, is this game's bash install. Open Mopi. Right-click the executable. Send a shortcut to the desktop. Launch it. Rye Bash is installed. Now, if you are only installing Bash to create a bashed patch, Launch Mod Organizer. Open the Modify Executables window. Type Rye Bash for the title. Select the button to the right of the binary. Navigate to the game folder. Open Mopi. Double click the executable. Add. Close. Done. Launch Vortex. Select the game that Bash is installed for. Open your dashboard. You're done. It's automatically detected. If it's not, you can add tool or select the vertical ellipsis. Name is whatever you want. Target is Bash's executable. Start in is the Mopi folder. I knew you could do it. If you care to pledge a dollar or two to keep gamer poets alive and well, I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope this video finds you well. See you soon.